at R.C. Willie today with Cindy Crawford. It's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Tell me, how did you get involved with your home collection, with the furniture business? Yeah, it wasn't exactly an obvious, an obvious um, next step for me, but I was approached about um, four years ago by a company to do a home line, and they had seen one of my houses that had been photographed in a magazine, um, and they said, you know, we'd really be interested in working with you on a home line. And I always loved decorating my own home, mm. especially because I traveled so much that my home was really my sanctuary. I love that. Um, I, I read that you had said that, and I love that sanctuary. Well, it really is, and especially now that I have a family, even more so, I want my home to be a place that we can all be together and entertain. So I thought, well, this could be a great place for me to combine, like, my sense of style with my love of decorating, and, and that's how Cindy Crawford Home was born. That's great. Now, how involved are you personally in designing the furniture? Well, it kind of works like this. Um, usually the designers, mm -hmm. the, you know, the people that do the drawings and all that, they come to my house, and we walk, you know, we talk about what's happening, what the trends are, but also, you know, for them to get a sense of how I live and different textures that I like, and, mm -hmm. and just for us to establish a common vocabulary. Then, um, and you know, maybe I'll have taken a picture on something I've seen at a hotel in Italy or, um, you know, a, a wood sample that I saw. I don't know, we were just in Beijing for the Olympics, for instance, so I take pictures and I'll share those with designers. Then they go and, and do sketches, and then they come back to me. And from that point forward, I work more as an editor where I'll say, I like that, but I think the legs should be thicker, oh, yeah. or I'm not sure what you know, show me the fabric, and I get to touch and feel um, every fabric and every wood finish. So oh, that's great. That's, that's kind of how it works. So I'm the inspiration, and then I'm the editor. And I love that you've made it family friendly. Well, I mean, I can't, I can't you know, I, I, I have a lot of different hats, but you can never take off your mommy hat once you put it on. <laughs> you mean, you're always true, a mom, first true. and foremost. So I mean, everything I do, I think, well, that's not good for kids, or that would be good for kids. So, you know, I definitely, the, the things that we really focus on are certainly style, but mm -hmm. not trendy style, but you know, st updated, like an updated traditional or updated classic style. Um, value, Great, quality, that's important. and, fa and fam like you said, family friendly. And I always say, and I, I've always felt this way, I would want a blind person to feel as comfortable in my house as someone who could see. So that means that the texture is good, and it means that it smells good, and it means that there's a place to set your teacup when you're done, you know, with it. Um, there's a place to put your feet up. Oh, that's great. So that's, that, I always have that in the back of my mind. Comfort. Comfort and just the way, you know, the way your house looks should reflect how you live and how you want to live and how you want to entertain. I think too many people get caught up in, it's like uh, dressing to impress. It's like, True. Yeah. it's your home. How do you want your life to be? You know, imagine that, and then the pieces should come together to help foster that kind of lifestyle. So if you like to spend a lot of time, like I do, our family room's attached to our kitchen. That's the hub of our house. Oh, yes, I agree. So we need a big, comfortable couch there that can fit all of us, that I'm not, it's not too precious, that I don't have to worry about, oh, my gosh, the kids, if they have greasy hands or whatever, they're going to ruin a place that we can play games in front of that couch. Um, you know, chairs, enough chairs that if we have friends over, there's room for them. That's what dictates how I'm going to de decorate that room. My bedroom is really, you know, maybe I want it to be more serene and quiet. Um, you know, the playroom, I love a denim slip-covered sofa for my line in there because it's like, it's, I don't worry about it at all. It's denim. I mean, why do oh, yes. we all wear jeans? Because exactly. they're very durable. <laughs> right, right. That's great. So there's a question I like to ask my guests quite often on the show, and now that you've talked about how your kitchen and family room are set up, mm -hmm. um, around your kitchen counter, I call it kitchen counter wisdom. Yes. What kind of things do you do with your family, and um, what have you learned from being a mom and from having a home and, you know, oh, gathering wow. around the kitchen counter? Um, well, I've learned that I can't control everything. I think that's the biggest lesson you I've learned from kids. It's like I was always very organized and you know, set up my day just so, uh -huh. and just with kids, you know, I, they just, you, they don't, you know, all of a sudden you're running out the door and they have to go to the bathroom. What are you going to say? <laughs> you can't go to the bathroom? You know, you, you, you have to just be more flexible and on their schedule. Um, 
I've also learned to just appreciate the little things in life more because you see it through their eyes. But and really, all they want from you is your time and that's your true. and your focus. Mm -hmm. And that's why I really, in some ways, I hate my BlackBerry because and I don't and I'm not one of those persons that check it all the time. But but still, it's you. F it's it, it's a it kind of makes you feel like you're with your kids. Yes. But you're not. And mm -hmm. I'm really aware of that. So if I'm kind of how I like to live my life is whatever I'm doing, like if I'm sitting here talking with you, I really want to be present in doing that. I don't want to be thinking, oh, well, I'm feeling guilty because I'm not at my kid's first soccer game. I love that. You know, I, I always say the same thing. Yeah, and then if I'm with my present. kids, then I really want to be with them. Um, and so what that it requires is the ability to say no more because you, mm -hmm. you, right. you just have to say, no, I'm sorry, I, I can't do that sometimes. Um, but that's been... You know, it's, it, it's enabled me to enjoy when I'm working, I'm really working and I'm, I'm loving that. And when I'm with my kids, I'm really with my kids and loving that. That's wonderful.